Hey guys, Gabriel with Chrome Unbox. Coming at you today with a quick how-to. I've always wanted to know how to put a Chromebook into demo mode. If you don't know what that is, when you go to Walmart, Best Buy, wherever, and you see a Chromebook set up, it's usually in demo mode. You can play around with it, do a few things, browse the web, but it's locked down. And I thought maybe somebody else wanted to know too. So today, we're gonna learn how. But first, this video is brought to you by WordPress.com. Whether you're a blogger or a big business, WordPress has all the tools you'll need to build a beautiful, responsive, SEO-rich site. Uh, to learn more, head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash WordPress. All right, so here we go, guys. Like I said, this is just something I was curious about, and, and who knows, maybe you own a small electronics store or you're an administrator at a school or something, and you just wanna have some devices set up running, but not necessarily logged into a, a personal or, a, or managed account. Anyways, this is very simple, just a little bit time consuming, but before we go in, just a little caveat, this will power wash your device, so if you have any local data stored, you need to upload it to the cloud or dump it onto a drive, because it's gonna be gone when we're done. So to take it into demo mode, we're gonna start by power washing. And you're just gonna to go to your settings, to the bottom, advanced, all the way to the bottom, and power wash. All right, so here we are guys, freshly power washed. This is what you get out of the box when it's new. This device is already up to date. If you haven't done that before you power washed, you might wanna update your device. Anyways, don't hit anything here. If you hit let's go, it's gonna ask you to log in. If you log in, then you're gonna to have to start this whole process over again. So from the welcome screen, you're gonna press Control, Alt, and D. Enable demo mode, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, we're making a video here. So you're gonna select your preferences, language, keyboard, country, click OK. Then you're gonna to connect to whatever Wi-Fi you're gonna be using. All right, so now you've connected to your network and you're gonna see the normal Chrome OS terms and conditions, accept and continue. Google Play apps and services, you can go ahead and hit more here. It's gonna give a demo of the Google Play services and apps. You're not actually gonna be able to install apps on here, but it gives you that demo. So I think this one actually is gonna run a nice little demo of Asphalt 8 you'll get to see here in a minute. So now it's checking for updates and you'll see starting demo mode. Depending on your device, this could take up to two minutes, but it's usually pretty quick. And here in just a second, we'll be fired up and ready to go. So here we go, it's the demo session login screen and it's gonna go right into the demo. Once this comes up, you'll be able to access Chrome, so you can actually navigate the web and stuff, but there's gonna be some stuff running in the background that's just kind of how to navigate around a Chromebook. Uh, again, I'm not sure what your use case could be. If you, if you are a small, maybe mom and pop's electronic store and you don't have access to some of the resources that Best Buys and Walmarts have, or maybe you're an administrator at a school that's uh, getting ready to roll out Chromebooks for the first time and you, you want to set up some displays for, for teachers and parents to see what the students are going to be working on. This is a really neat way to do it. So you can navigate around some things. It'll show you around your device. Nice shot of the Pixelbook there. Uh, but you can go to Chrome and they even have some uh, Android app demos here. So these aren't actually full installations. They're just... Uh, little apps that you can run demos on and so that's it this will just continue to roll run in a loop you can't log out of it so you don't have to worry about somebody else getting on the device and logging in uh, and that's it so to reverse the process you can't power wash this device from the settings menu because it's in demo mode so you actually have to do a hard power wash so you're going to power it down and then press and hold the escape and the refresh key and press the power button. Keep holding those keys until the power comes back on. You're gonna see insert recovery USB stick. Don't worry, you haven't broken anything. Just press control D. It's gonna ask you to turn the OS verification off. So go ahead and hit enter there. But instead of actually transitioning into developer mode, once it gets to this screen, just press space to enable and enter now it's going to wipe the device and it's going to return to stable, clean power wash straight from the factory. So it wasn't actually in developer mode, but it says it's returning to verified mode because that's the option that we selected. And then it's going to reboot. And once it reboots, Chrome and a nice, freshly power washed, ready to log in device, not managed, no demo mode or anything. 
So there you go. Like I said, I'm not sure what you would use it for. For me, I was just curious and I wanted to know how, and there's not a lot of information around the web on how to use this. But anyways, I hope this helped and maybe you want to tinker around with this yourself. Anyways, till next time, hey, check us out on the web, chromeunbox.com. Click the uh, like and the subscribe button below and we'll see you next time.